Companies showing signs they are ready to grow, while workers still signal they are looking for change. U.S. employers posted 11 million job openings in October, just about hitting the record we saw in July. Most of those openings were in restaurants, bars, and hotels. At the same time, 4.2 million people quit their jobs. Down slightly from September, sure, but still the third highest number since we started keeping track in 2000, meaning people are confident they can always find a new job. This great resignation is affecting just about every field, including perhaps your, your local salon or barber. News 5's Tracy Carlos with the story of salon struggles. Kathleen Stanley opened Agape Organic Salon just before the pandemic hit. We opened and then closed five months later. The salon survived the shutdown and is thriving, but now the Broadview Heights salon owner has another challenge. The demand is really high right now. Uh, the problem is, is we can't find staff. We have ads out on Indeed, social media. We've offered referral incentives for our staff to find girls. And Kathleen is not the only salon owner across the state having a hard time putting people behind these chairs. Look at that beautiful girl in there. Lori Cathcart owns five Great Clip salons across Northeast Ohio. We have a couple of salons that only have three employees and really a good working staff is five to eight. Um, based on the customer counts in the salon. Tony Fiore is the executive director of the Ohio Salon Association. He says 26% of cosmetologists and barbers have not renewed their state licenses. In the state of Ohio, we've got over um, 80,000 cosmetology licensees. That includes the cosmetologist, the full license, hair designers, uh, estheticians, and nail techs. So, you know, when you're looking at a quarter of those fewer in the in the workplace, that's a, an important number. We also have around 8,400 barbers across the state. So, you know, a quarter of those less renewing licenses is a problem. At Agape Salon, we're looking into healthcare options, paying more, um, trying to be competitive in the field. I think they need a little haircut. Hoping to give the small salon a cutting edge in the competitive cosmetology market. Tracy Carlos, News 5. Okay, but there is some good news for those who plan to work in the new year. The latest survey from the conference board found that base pay could increase by nearly 4% in 2022. That's the largest projected one-year hike in more than a decade. There are a number of reasons for that potential boost in pay. Nearly half of employers surveyed say the labor shortage has forced them to offer higher wages to bring in new workers. And if new workers are making more money, well... Current workers often demand more. Inflation was also a reason, usually not a primary reason, for pay increases.